Hey guys, it's Kat and I am back today for a holiday haul slash um, Black Friday Cyber Monday haul and it's not going to be a big one, just warning, but I will sort of, um, I think I'm going to make this a bit of a chatty video and I will explain why it's not going to be a big haul. Um, but essentially um, I wanted to put this up because I'm actually in the middle of doing a review of this, like one of those week long reviews and I did want that up um, when this video is going up, but I don't think I'll get all the looks in on time. So I thought I'll do this one just to um, have something to go up on that day. But um, every year I like to do sort of like holiday haul of products that I've bought from the holiday season. I like to do yearly favorites, yearly fails. So I think looking back at the year, um, I actually didn't buy as much as I usually do. Um, usually I like to buy makeup for my channel and to review things. I think this year I was a little bit uninspired. And I think also a huge problem with this year was I've had like, I'd say eyeshadow palette fatigue. So I don't find a lot of eyeshadow palettes as sort of inspiring and as interesting as I once did. So looking back, I'm like, I just have been focusing on using up makeup that I've currently got in my collection and enjoying what I already have. So uh, it's been a bit of a hard one, um, but I will do a favorites video. It's also really hard figuring out fails because but once again, I've been sort of quite nitpicky with the products that I've been buying this year. So there's not too many that are standout fails, but I'll spend the next couple of weeks sort of um, reorganizing my stash and trying to really pick out the favorites and fails of the year because right now I'm sort of <laughs> drawing a bit of a blank. So that also sort of leads into um, why I didn't actually go quite crazy with the holiday products this year. I really didn't buy much at all, um, but I will go through the products I did buy. So first off, I bought the Hourglass. Um, this is the Confession Lipstick Duo. So I buy these pretty much every year. The last, this is the third year in a row that I've been buying um, the holiday packs because they're some of my favorite lipsticks ever. Um, and whenever they bring out these sort of like special edition ones, I'm like the collector in me is like, I got to have them. And also generally the sort of new shades that I like. So this year the packaging is this sort of frosted um, plastic, which is kind of weird. Um, some people don't like it and I'm, look, I'm not a massive fan of it, but at the same time, I don't really hate it, if that makes sense. So usually these come in gold components, whereas this time it's a silver base and then the lid of it is this sort of frosty plastic. So there's actually two duo packs that came out this year. This is the only one that came to Australia. So this contains the shades I Cherish, which is in the sort of um, full component. So this is the nude shade, which is really, really, really pretty. And then you get a refill with the same lid. So you can technically um, take these off and replace them if you wanted to. Um, but this is in the shade You Inspire. So this is more of a dark sort of berry color. And I, whenever I wear that, people are like, what is it? And it's this, uh, it's really, really beautiful. So that's the duo that I picked up. That's the first thing I bought. Um, and then they've got a second pack, which I really wanted to buy but it never came to Australia. So I was really lucky the subscriber Beauty News sent it over as like a Christmas present, which was really sweet. So I do actually have the second duo, even though it never came to Australia. So it's not a purchase, but I thought I'd show it to you anyway. So it's the same sort of format with the frosted plastic and the refill and the full component. But of course the shades are different. So this one is I Wonder, which is sort of like a ready pink tone. And the refill one is I'll Forever, which is more of an orangey sort of red. So those are the two duos. One I bought, one I was lucky enough to be gifted. So yeah, very lucky that I got sent this because it wasn't available. If it was available, I would have bought it at the same time as the first one. Um, but these are the things that I collect. So every year I really love those. The next thing that I bought is also a lip duo um, and I will explain this, but this is definitely one that was on my radar. So Bare Minerals brings out really, they bring out really good value packs every year. And over the past, maybe like four or five years, I have delved into quite a few of their packs. Um, to the point where like, it's a really good way to try some of their products because the value is so good in these packs. It's probably one of the better brands to release packs because sometimes you'll see these sets or these vaults that come out and when you actually look at the value that it's not that great, you may as well just buy a couple of individual ones you want. But with Bare Minerals, it, the value is always fantastic. So in the past years I have brought like other lipstick packs and I haven't 
gone back to buy more of them because the formula is not my favorite. Whereas this one, which are the Bare Pro Longwear Lipsticks. So there's two full size here. I did know that I really like these because I got a mini in a Mecca Beauty Loop box. So this is what I'm wearing on my lips today. Um, and it is the shade Petal. And I have been using this for a bit. So I did know that I really liked the formula. And Petal is in here as well, along with... Um, along with boysenberry, which is one that's not available in Australia. So we've got a limited um, range of Bare Minerals. So when they release these lipsticks in like 20 or 30 shades, I think they only brought like eight to Australia. So we don't even have, have access to boysenberry. But what's really cool about these is they're two full size products, 23 Australian dollars. But if you were to buy just one of these in Australia for full price, they're $34. So two of them for 23 is like ridiculous value. So I knew I liked Petal because I own it. Um, in the mini. So I just thought, look, I'm going to try boysenberry. It's not in Australia. I can't try it. Um, but I really do like the formula. So it is a matte lipstick. This is a nice sort of berry nude color. And um, I'll swatch my little one because I um, may as well use that up first before I use the other one. It's like a mauvey pink nude. Now, normally I don't like pink nudes, but when they have a bit of a mauve tone to them, um, I do really like them. And it's a, it's a matte lipstick that's quite comfortable wears a long time and um, I've just had that in my handbag and I use it quite a lot. So I knew that I was sort of happy to replace it with um, a duo pack for less than the price of one lipstick. All right, I've only got one other holiday product that I did buy um, and I'll sort of talk about why I also haven't been buying much holiday stuff soon. Um, but the holiday thing is actually a candle and it's by Glasshouse. Clearly I have a problem. I really like a lot of Glasshouse candles. I think I've got about three of them in my study. I've got two there, I think one in my hallway and one here. So this is the holiday, one of the holiday scents and it's called Merry and Bright and it's described as pineapple mint fizz. Now, I sort of, I didn't want to get this at first because I like the box, but the jar is just a normal jar. I sort of would have liked to have seen this sort of Christmas tree um, design on the jar because I do like having the sort of special ones. After I use them, I clean them out. And I keep them for things like hair clips or earrings or whatever it might be. So I actually do keep the jars, but I'm less inclined to want to buy the special ones um, when they have just a basic jar. But the reason I really wanted to get this is because the scent is really, really nostalgic for me. So when you do first smell it, you're like, okay, I get the pineapple, I get the mint. And some people probably think it smells like a cocktail or something, but as it sort of diffuses a little bit and you start smelling the sweetness to it as well, it really reminds me, and this is going to be very Australian and probably very like 80s, 90s, so I don't know if a lot of people get the reference, but but this smells just like a jar of Bo Peep lollies from Daryl Lee. So um, pretty much, I'll put a photo on the screen, but you used to be able to get these lollies that were like little hard boiled lollies and they all had different scents. And they had some that were like, you know, fruity, some that were... Uh, there was like spearmint ones, there was just like sugary ones, and you just smell the jar and you just get this like mix of sweet, fruity, mint, um, and it was really, it just reminds me of being a kid. And that's exactly what this smells like. It smells like a mix of Bo Peep lollies. So I wanted to get this more for nostalgia reasons. Um, that's why I got it, but um, yeah, I love it. I haven't burnt it yet, but it's it's delicious. So those are the holiday products I bought. The things I bought from Black Friday sales, it's actually very frustrating because I placed two orders, but one of them got canceled. Um, so the one that went through and is currently, um, it's been shipped for a week, it's still in LA. So I thought, look, I'm not gonna wait for it to arrive to do this video because it'll probably take me two to three weeks. Um, I actually ordered off the Melt website. There's a palette that I forgot what it's called, but it's like, it's got two sides and sort of closes like a book. Um, and I really liked one side of it, like the green and the red side and a couple of colors from the other side. But it, I think it was originally like 90 something Australian dollars. And I'm like, I don't need it. I don't need it. But I had a look and the Melt website had free shipping and they had sales. And it was down to, I think about $44 or something like that, which is crazy. It's like 20 something US dollars. Um, so I thought, look, I'll give it a crack because um, I didn't want to buy it full price because I wasn't going to, I don't love all the colors. But buying it like better than half price, I can totally deal with that. So I bought that. I also bought a liquid eyeliner in a brown shade from them because I thought, look, I love brown eyeliners and I want to try the formula. So that was on sale as well. So 
that's on its way here. The thing I was really looking forward to, I actually ordered from the Pat McGrath website that had free shipping and their Lux Trans lipsticks. Um, a lot of them were sold out, but they had them down from, I think it's about 60 or 65 Australian dollars to 17 Australian dollars, which was 10 US dollars. So I thought, look, 17 bucks. Yeah, I'm going to buy some Pat McGrath lipsticks. A lot of the ones I want wanted were out of stock, but I picked, I think, two nudes, one red and one like vibrant sort of neon pink. And um, I was really, really excited because I think the order came to something like $68 for four Pat McGrath lipsticks, when realistically that's about one and doesn't even cover shipping. So um, I was very, very excited for that. And then the next day the order was cancelled because they said they oversold, which was very frustrating. So I'm not getting that, but I did intend to buy that and I'm still a bit shitty about it. But I think the main reason why I haven't bought much this holiday season, firstly, for me, it's actually a very expensive time of the year. Um, we're trying to sort of reorganize my house a little bit. We're getting sort of new cabinets put in, uh, in the bathroom and some and like shelves and an island bench and stuff put in the kitchen, which is going to cost a lot of money. Um, and I just sort of feel like this time of the year, for me with house stuff and other stuff, I'm like, it's getting very expensive. So I don't really have the desire to spend hundreds of dollars on holiday kits that I just feel I won't get the value out of, if that makes sense. I do have one thing on my wish list and I'm sort of, I should have bought it on Black Friday, but I'm going to wait until early in the new year when there's sales or like Boxing Day sales. I really want the Natasha Denona Metropolis palette. I really don't want to pay 205 Australian dollars for it. So that is something that I am planning on buying. But besides that, I've got nothing else on my wish list. Nothing's really inspiring. There are some things that came out this year that I do like, but I've already got them. So for example, I usually check out Too Faced and I'll pick up some of their items. Like last year, um, the Gingerbread Girl and Gingerbread Man. I love these. These are re-promoted this year, but... I have them. Um, I was really hoping that they were going to bring back something like this this year. So this is the Sweet Smell of Christmas. These are little uh, mini liquid lipsticks in different scents and limited edition um, colors. And I love them. Best pack of 2018, hands down. I adore it. I still use these to this very day. Um, and I was hoping they'd just bring back a variation where they just have different colors and scents. They didn't. They didn't. They brought out lip sparkly lip glosses instead. So it's just, I think it's gone from being like awesome to being like sparkly lip glosses. Really? I was going to get the Too Faced Gingerbread Extra Spicy palette, which is like the second palette to this one. Um, and I do really like this palette. There's some shades in here that are fantastic and some that are complete duds. This one is like this puffy, like mess of a thing. But this shade is absolutely gorgeous. It's this like duochrome, beautiful thing. Um, and then some of these shades over here are really pretty. So I do like this palette, but this year's one was just a little bit more disappointing. Oh my God, look at that shade. Like you can't see, but it goes gold to pink. Wait, can you see the gold in the mirror? It's just gorgeous. And I think this year as well, besides a couple of things like Hourglass, um, I really have broken that sort of collector's mentality. Um, I would have bought the new one just for collector's sake. But then when I look back at how much I've used this throughout the year, I'm like, I don't really need a second one that's even more boring and doesn't have gorgeous shades like this. So this year I've been really good at holding back and nothing's, everything just seems like it's either regurgitated or boring. A lot of stuff didn't come to Australia, which was sad. So like that um, hourglass duo had to get it sent to me from a beautiful subscriber. So I just found this year was really, really uninspired when it came to holiday releases. Normally I like to pick up some, at least something from NARS and I do have something here, but this was sent in PR. So I've got it, but I didn't buy it. This is um, one of their sort of like uh, lip crayon packs. But um, I, re I was personally looking at the blush trios. They had like face trios. I got two blushes and a highlighter and I was, I was like, I'm gonna buy one of those. I swatched them in store and they just looked really pink and I just don't like bright pink blushes or bright sort of coral tone blushes. I like sort of like more muted peach. So I just was like, I'm really not going to use it. So yeah, I looked in store. I tried to find stuff. I was sort of inspired to buy stuff. And then, um, yeah, when it actually came down to the crunch, I'm like, there's nothing really that interests me. So I think this year is a combination of trying to enjoy what I currently have, uh, trying to save money for other things in my life and a combination of brands just not being that 
interesting or bringing the cool stuff to Australia. So yeah, that's why I only bought three things this holiday season and uh, two things from Cyber Monday. Um, and I've got one other thing on my wish list. That's it. Six items in total. Mm. So yeah, that's my really boring haul. Um, but I thought I would do it because every year I do a haul and I just thought I'd explain why been a bit lackluster this year and I am a little bit concerned that my favorites of 2019 are also going to be lackluster but I will try I will try but anyway hopefully um, I'll be back later in the week for the conclusion of this review and I'll see you guys then bye